Yeah. Hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for a speed build. So, <clears throat> yes, I have been kind of MIA for a while. Uh, almost a month, and that's kind of crazy. I didn't realize it was that long. But, you know, I did say the very beginning of this pregnancy that things are probably going to be a little bit inconsistent just because um, pregnancy and, you know, your emotions and feelings and mood and, you know, it just can be up and down. So, you know, we're not very consistent here, but that's okay. If you've been keeping up with me on social media, you've kind of been in the loop on that anyways. And I have already told you what you can expect from my channel in the upcoming months because I am eight months pregnant. So, I have a little less than two months left before my baby gets here. Eight weeks exactly is my due date. So, yeah, um, I've been doing a lot of grinding, even though it may not seem like it because, you know, <laughs> I haven't been uploading. But I have been doing a ton of build, y'all. I have so much content. Honestly, I just have to do the voiceovers, which takes a lot of energy, especially when I'm this far along. I'm out of breath. I'm trying to like slow myself down and talk calmly so I'm not like panting for y'all because I know that's just annoying. Um, but also, you know, I just, you know, just pregnancy just this far along, it's just uncomfortable. So it's just like when I can get in the mood for a voiceover, it's like, hey, let's do it. So I'm kind of determined to just get some of this content out. So we're just doing the dang thing. So today we are building a cute little cottage it's a family home it's three bedroom two bath and i'm gonna call this hideaway cottage because it just is a little bay cottage it's what it reminds me of it fits, fits perfectly for brindleton bay i really wanted to build in brindleton bay it's been a while since i've really built um here is you know apart from using the land and the the destin not destination one of the aesthetic for maybe my sims 3 to sims 4 series but just purely solely building a house that fits in with Brindleton Bay it's been a hot minute so I definitely wanted to build in Brindleton Bay but I also wanted to build on one of these lots which honestly I like but they're not my favorite to build on because there's no driveway it's well there's no driveway period in the sims 4 because we don't have cars but you know it's just kind of tucked away in the woods and i like that but at the same time it's kind of awkward there i feel like there's only certain houses style houses that look good on these lots and i thought this one was perfect so i've decided to call it the hideaway cottage because it's kind of hidden away um so yeah i think it turned out really cute and by the way I struggled with the roof in case you have not caught on I didn't really cut any of that out I honestly kind of gave up on this build after I started it I had a day where I kid you not started mm, I think I started four different builds and I did I just could not I was just not satisfied you ever get in those like picky moods where it's like you know what you want it to look like but then when you start it doesn't turn out so you just get discouraged and scrap it that's kind of where I was and um with this one I didn't scrap it because I was like no like I have hope for it maybe I'll come back later so the next day after I took a little breather I came back and I fixed it so the thing that was really throwing me off honestly was the landscaping so well, honestly, the roofing was just frustrating the heck out of me. I was over it by the time I finally figured out the roofing. But also, um, I just could not figure out what I wanted to do for landscaping. And when I go to save it to the gallery, I want to see what it looks like. And if it just doesn't look good to me, then it's not going to look good to you. That's what I think. And I just, I almost, I almost scrapped it. But I ended up coming back and putting together something that was really cute for landscaping. I've never really used those plants, that combination of plants, and I think it turned out perfect for this little cottage. So you'll see me kind of mess around with the roof a little bit more and then it kind of uh, will end up fading out. <laughs> and I come back in and you'll see I had some plants and potter plants up on the windows. 
and I ended up scrapping that but I kind of cut that footage out uh, just because that's where I kind of got frustrated with the whole thing but I ended up coming back in adding a fireplace to the side and that's when I finished the landscape and so just to explain that little break where you're like where, where did all that landscaping go um you're lucky I cut it out because it was just it was a lot okay it was a lot also I do want to mention that the floor plan of this house is unique kind of it's like it's different it, the entryway there's like an entryway and then it goes into the kitchen dining area and then it goes into the living room and I don't know I've never done a floor plan like that so it was different and I kind of like that but also as you kind of probably saw me do the little loft upstairs um, that is not necessarily an upstairs uh, thing <laughs> we're, we're not doing upstairs uh, I considered it but the house was just kind of big in general and if I was gonna do upstairs I mean there's three bedrooms downstairs if I was going to use upstairs it was gonna be kind of like a loft or something but it was still really big and then also of course I was following a floor plan I will if I can remember I always say I will and I just feel like I always forget but I'm gonna try to link that floor plan below um, it does have kind of like a loft but it's kind of described as an unfinished loft so I'm just kind of pretending it's the attic and I was going to add stairs um, anyways just for like the look of it being a loft but I figured no we'll just pretend it's an attic and you know how some attics you know you have the little pull down from the ceiling we're just gonna pretend that it's in this house so it just makes a little bit more sense um, but anyways I do think it turned out really really cute uh, regardless of you know me oh, okay I really really suck at roofing because you didn't tell but I couldn't figure out I just I can't I need to watch more roofing tutorials I can make it look good like it looks good eventually it might take me a minute but it was like clipping into the walls and I thought I was doing it right but I couldn't figure it out and I just couldn't be bothered with looking up tutorials at the time so anyways that's also a lot of the reason why we didn't do a loft but anyways I still like I said think it turned out really really nice but anyways I'm going to kind of just ramble a little bit um, but I will say before I do like any of my rambling I guess we can kind of talk about um, how I furnished the house I used a lot of cats and dogs stuff it's kind of cottagey looking kind of country looking which I really really love I furnished it for a family like I said it is a family home and I would imagine that it is a mom and dad and then I furnished a room for a child a girl and then I kind of set up a nursery but I honestly don't really imagine that the baby has been born yet but maybe the mom is pregnant with a little boy it is decorated in a blue color and I really love how that turned out but anyways let me just go ahead and just ramble a little bit um, I do want to kind of talk about what you can expect from my channel um, as far as what kind of content because things are changing like I said earlier with like the pregnancy and everything and just in case you haven't really kept up with me on social media here's the thing I'm gonna be mostly be doing speed builds so you're gonna see lots of speed builds you're gonna see some apartment renovations maybe some house renovations EA houses and you're gonna see the Sims 3 to Sims 4 series we are on to twin broke families in their homes and I'm definitely keeping that series around because it's my absolute favorite y'all I'm like freaking four families ahead so I'm grinding <laughs> but anyways I'm trying to not like upload them all at once it's a little bit obnoxious so I'm kind of trying to space it out as much as I can so I'm throwing in some speed bills and apartment renovations but also I do want to start doing more um, creative sims I want to do like more content that is not necessarily let's plays um, and I love let's plays don't get me wrong I absolutely love let's plays they're my favorite but right now it's just not very possible for me to do that because let's plays I mean in my opinion kind of require consistency people want to see what happens next you want to know when the next part comes out you're kind of like invested in the storyline and I just can't promise that right now so what I'm going to do is 
put a halt on all of my Let's Plays. I'm going to wrap up Pleasant View Let's Play. I promise. We have two parts left. I'm not going to just freaking cut it short and not end um, the last two families. I'm kind of past few parts have been me wrapping up each family in season one. And we do have the goth family left and our young adults who are in college. I wanted them to graduate. I've been playing them off camera. So those two episodes, those last two parts of Pleasant View are coming. I don't know when. I'm working on them, but definitely expect that. I'm putting a halt on everything else until I'm able to make it a little bit more consistent. But I do want to start doing more things on my channel besides just like Speed Builds Apartment Renovations in the series. I kind of want to do some more like creative sims. Um, just stuff that kind of requires me to do a voiceover or stuff that's not requiring a lot of consistency. So I may be doing some creative sims uh, from The Sims 2. Some families, maybe from the family bin, like the Burb family. I really was thinking about creating them for The Sims 4. I just have a lot of fun recreating things, but also I do want you guys to let me know what you want to see. If there's any challenges, um, like build challenges, create some challenges. Uh, do you want to see more custom content shopping? Because I do a lot of custom content shopping. I'm always on Tumblr, like pinning stuff. <laughs> I have a lot. I stay pretty updated on my custom content. So if you guys want to see some CC shopping one day, just like anything, help me. Um, just not Let's Plays because, like I said, we're, we're trying to be consistent here. So, yeah, if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. That'll help me out a lot. Just, you know, knowing what you guys want to see. But, anyways, you guys, today is um when Tuesday, Tuesday that I'm doing this voiceover. I'm either going to upload it this evening, so it'll be Tuesday you see this, or Wednesday. But it is the 4th, June the 4th. That I'm doing this voiceover basically and we have four more days until EA play and if you're watching this I want you to stop what you're doing comment down below and let me know what you think they're going to announce which I'm pretty positive that is going to be um, the tropical expansion pack that has kind of been leaked out I know that for the most part most of the leaks that we've gotten in the past have been right um, and as far as, like, my opinions on that, I'm excited. I do like tropical stuff packs. I do live, like, an hour from the beach, 30 minutes from one beach, an hour from the other. Uh, so I do go to the beach a lot. I do like the tropical living. Um, and I think that we really need that in The Sims. But I was really looking forward to having university next. But I do think that they're going to announce a lot of stuff for us because... We've already kind of confirmed and we know that they're already working on the development of The Sims 5. And I don't think The Sims 5 is going to be out next year. I think maybe the next two years, maybe three. But I think two at the least. Um, so with that being said, I feel like The Sims 4 is kind of coming to a wrap. And I feel like that they're going to kind of tell us what to expect with the next few packs. I don't think at EA Play they're going to announce just the next expansion pack um, because I also know that they did confirm on Twitter that there's going to be I think it was what 350 new swatches added to base game so that must come with a new update or something which is crazy 350 new swatches and that's just base game what <laughs> I'm so excited about it you guys it's not even funny there are so many build items me being a builder uh, it gets it gets a little frustrating sometimes when you have to use the same stuff over and over again. Um, I just want to see more colors. Um, so I'm excited. Definitely want to see more colors to some of the couches. Um, I don't know. I mean, 350. I mean, they could add something to everything. <laughs> I mean, that's just crazy. But yeah, I think that they're just going to kind of tell us what to expect because things are wrapping up. So I think they're going to tell us, hey, we have this expansion pack coming here uh, this summer. This one coming in the fall. Here's the next game pack, stuff pack, whatever. I think that would be really cool. I think that's what they're going to do just because they said they have a lot to announce. Uh, but I don't want to get my hopes up. And I'm kind of frustrated because, you know, everything's kind of been leaked. And, unfortunately, I'm not invited to EA Play. And even if I was, I would not be able to go. I am uh, eight months pregnant. Uh, but there's a lot of us that don't have the privilege to get to go to EA Play. So, I was kind of annoyed that they was going to announce it at EA Play. 
because, I mean, not everybody gets to go to EA Play. Can we just, like, have the announcement, tell us what it is, and then those who get to go to EA Play experience beforehand? That's kind of what happens anyway with the EA Game Changers, which is great. I do appreciate the EA Game Changers. I want to be one, as we all do, but, um, yeah, they get to see things first and play and experience things first, so... I just kind of want to know before them, and then, well, not before them, we'll know at the same time, but then them experience it first. I mean, I understand that at EA Play, they're going to announce it to everybody. We're going to get to see it um, Saturday, the live announcement, too, but I'm not there. <laughs> I want to know now, so I've, I'm impatient, y'all. I'm so freaking excited to find out what is coming because I'm kind of a little bit bored with everything that we have right now. It's time for something new, and I'm ready. And I will say that my expectations are high, <laughs> even for this tropical pack that we're supposedly getting next. Um, I am going to be so disappointed, and I do not complain a lot <laughs> when it comes to, um, like, when it comes to The Sims. Like, I, I don't complain a lot. I don't agree with, like, everything that they do, and I will, like, share my opinion but I don't bash or anything like that and drag the sim gurus and everything. But I'm going to be solely disappointed if this tropical thing that we have coming is just a tropical vacation world. I don't want a vacation world. I don't want this to be a game pack where my sims can go to the beach on vacation. I want a tropical world like Tropical Paradise in The Sims 3 that my sims can live in. I want a beach themed world that my sims can live in. I want to build beach houses. I want beach aesthetic and I want them to be able to live there. I don't want them to be able to go and have to, you know, stay there. I mean, I'd, I'd never take my sims on vacation. I honestly don't do a lot of gameplay, but even when I do, it's just not something I'm into. I'm not, you know, and maybe we can have resorts and hotels. Um, that would be really cool. I know that was a big part of um, Sims 3 Tropical Paradise 2. I think that's what it's called. Is it Tropical Paradise? Paradise Island? Tropical Paradise? I don't remember. But anyways, um, there was resorts, but it was also in the world. So I think that would be cool if you was we had a lot more lots. I know in the past few expansion packs, we haven't had a lot of lots. I feel like the world sizes have gotten smaller. So I really hope that this one isn't the same. Hope it's, you know, a little bit bigger, you know. But anyways, I think it'd be really cool if it was a world that you could live in. But also, maybe there'd be resorts. Maybe one or two or three, or you could build your own, whatever, um, that you can kind of, like, manage and go to and visit and stay at. So, you kind of get the two-in-one feel. You get the bigness of the Sims 3 world all in one. You can live here, or you can visit from San Mashuno and come and stay at a beach hotel. You know what I'm saying? That's just, like, different. It's like a vacation, but not a vacation world. And I don't know if that's possible in The Sims 4 just by um, what I've seen in the past or what we've seen in the past, but that's what I'm hoping for. Um, and I do hope that they announce that we are getting university or some kind of school pack coming in the fall because I was anticipating that to be next, but it does make sense for something summer and tropical in the summer and then something more school related in the fall. But anyways, that's my thoughts about EA Play and this announcement and what's coming to The Sims. So if you're still with me and you're still like enjoying this um, speed build, maybe not me rambling, but I do want to know your opinions on what you want to see and if you are excited about it and if you agree with me, disagree with me. Whatever's, just let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, though, back to the speed build. We have been doing, like, the interior for a while now, and uh, I hope you like it. I think it's very cozy. I think it's very cute. Um, I don't know what's wrong with my editing software. I used Filmora Wondershare, and I did update it a while ago to Filmora 9, and I had a lot of trouble with it at first just trying to figure out how to work it. Um, because for the longest time in the previous version, you had to render the video before you could do like a voiceover because if you didn't, it'd be very choppy and you would be just all over the place. It was just not adding up to where you currently was when you was talking. Do you know what I mean? Okay, well, 
the more nine if you use for more nine you probably know the struggle there's no render button but it's supposed to cut down time editing which it does which is great but um for some reason i've just had a really hard time I don't know, maybe if I, I don't know if there's an update available, I might need to check, but the past few weeks I've tried to come on and do voiceovers, and there's a huge, huge lag in the game, <laughs> or not in the game, but in the voiceover part, so when I'm editing, it's fast, I know where I'm at, I'm flowing, you know, but then when I go to do the voiceover, it's very choppy and all over the place, and... It's just a pain in the butt. So right now, I do believe we are on to the master bedroom. <laughs> so I hope that's right. But anyways, um, master bedroom is probably the least favorite part of the house. And only reason is because it's kind of odd shaped. <laughs> I did go in and add closets because I usually try to do that in my build. Just because closets really add to a build or add to a room if you ask me. Um, it's just realistic. So I did go in and add those closets, but this room is just big. It's kind of long and kind of awkward. <laughs> um, and I kind of wanted to shorten that wall if the bed is on and kind of bring it in some. But if I would have done that, then it would have just messed up the living room. And I thought the living room turned out so cute and so perfect. And I really enjoyed the layout of that. So anyways, I just tried to make it work the best I could. I put a desk in there with a laptop not really sure and I didn't really think too much about it when I went in furnishing for this family you know what kind of career occupation that the parents had but obviously wanted them to have like a little computer space um, an area for them to pay their bills and do all of that um, they do have a master ensuite which I think turned out so cute I'm just like very pleased with the floor plan of this house and how it all just like turned out because um, I feel like every house that I've done as far as like speed builds in the past <laughs> have been very boxy and it's not because I don't know how to do anything but a box but because nine times out of ten I'm following a floor plan and that's just how the floor plan looks um, which is fine it's cute boxes can be cute you know rectangles boxes you can make it cute but as far as like the rooms being so boxy and square and rectangle it just kind of gets old and I do like for you know closets and bathrooms to kind of have like those little indentions and walls in walls out you know what I'm talking about I don't know I just appreciate this floor plan I really do like it a lot <laughs> but the master bedroom just could have been better in my opinion I just didn't know what to do with the walls on either side of the bed I just didn't want to put too much on the walls because sometimes it just can look overdone if there's like a picture on every single wall it just looks a little bit too busy um so I kind of like struggled but overall I think it's okay <laughs> but I do think that the children's bedroom turned out so cute it's like the perfect size I think having rooms that are too big is a pain in the butt which um hmm, it's kind of like the struggle with my sims 3 to sims 4 series because most of us know by now that EA maxes whoever when they build sims houses in sims 4 and in the sims 3 and even in the sims 2 it does have a habit of making the uh rooms and the floor plan just yikes for the most part most of the bedrooms are huge and ginormous so um i've been trying to for that series at least keep the floor plan um as accurate as possible and just kind of decorating the house and making it a lot nicer and prettier in the sims 4 version but anyways when i do my speed builds like apart from that series um I don't like the rooms to be very big so it just kind of sucks when stuff like that happens like I mean I'm I'm really over exaggerating how awkwardly shaped that room is because it's not awkwardly shaped it's actually kind of it's, it's good it's a good shape but it's just like it could have been better it just kind of threw me off when I was doing this uh, interior I was like on a roll and then I got to the bedroom and I was like ew <laughs> what but anyways it, uh, made up for it in the little girl's room in the baby's room but I think the little girl's room is so cute I love the pink I absolutely adore that rug that came with strange town as you'll see I kind of used it all over the house I used it in the living room I used it in 
the dining or kitchen. Yeah, I used it in the kitchen and in the laundry room and in the little girl's room, but I think it is so pretty. Um, I really like the pink and the red, and I decided to give her like the little clutter toy box thing, and I put the little uh, doctor set in front of it, and then on her desk, I added some of the toys that you would find at the toy chest because, you know, like I said, her room was a little bit smaller, so I didn't have a lot of room for a toy box, but I do like that clutter item. I think it looked better, so I ended up just putting her some toys on her desk so she can play with them, your child can play with them, but I kind of think it makes sense for them to kind of carry it around in their inventory. I like to see my Sims, um, my kids, take out a toy in the living room and, you know, play while the parents are watching TV or the parents are cooking or something like that just because it's realistic, but anyways, I think the little boy's nursery turned out really cute too. I've never done that color scheme, just, uh, different. You know, it's different. It's cute. I like the blue. I like the teal. I like the cream of it all. And I honestly didn't do too much. The boys nursery, I didn't clutter it too much. Uh, I kind of wish I would have put, you know, the debug, um, lotions and diaper and a little bit more on the little makeshift changing table I made, but honestly just was kind of over. <laughs> I was ready to finish this build. <laughs> I've been working on it all morning. I woke up this morning at before seven o'clock in the morning I woke up uh, because the baby's kicking me and I got to pee so I couldn't go back to sleep so I started on building but anyways um, I think I did a pretty good job cluttering the rest of the house so it's all right <laughs> but in the outside back porch area I just gave them you know a little picnic table and grill area, a little seating area, and then I gave the children a little swing set to play on and a few planner boxes because the lot wasn't very big to do much, but nonetheless, I think it turned out really, really cute, and I hope you guys like it, and if you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. It is available for download on the gallery. Subscribe if you haven't. Let me know what you think about EA Play and, you know, some suggestions for my channel, what kind of content you want to see in the comments down below. I love you guys so much, and thank you guys for watching. Bye. Thank you.